Good day everyone, I'm Nurse Anne. Today, I will share to you different exam questions during my review, together with its answers and rationale. This is already our part 3, and this time, I will give a short discussion relevant to each question. I will give you one full minute in each question. Enjoy! Question number one. Your one full minute starts now. Ten seconds. Time's up. The correct answer is letter C. Rationale. Burger's disease is also called thromboangitis obliterans. Thrombo means there's a clot formation. Angitis means there's an arterial inflammation. And obliterance means obstruction. Since there is already a thrombus or clot formation, our primary goal is to prevent it to become an emboli, which can be dislodged in different parts of the body and can be fatal if left untreated. The cause is still unknown, but the major risk factor is smoking. The most common affected part of the body is the lower extremity due to insufficient flow of blood. And the most common complication is the presence of gangrene. Its hallmark is ischemic pain. Instruct the patient to report paresthesia, which is characterized by numbness and tingling sensation that can be a sign of nerve damage. Question number two. Your one full minute starts now. Ten seconds. Time's up. The correct answer is letter D. Rationale. Potassium iodide is also known as Lugol solution. This solution is given as a pre-op preparation for patients who will undergo thyroidectomy because it decreases the size and the vascularity of the thyroid gland. This is to reduce the blood loss during the procedure. To prevent staining of the teeth, inform the patient to use a straw. And after the procedure, watch out for signs of hypothyroidism. Question number 3. Your one full minute starts now.
10 seconds. Time's up. The correct answer is letter A. Rationale. In hypothyroidism, there is a decreased T3, which is for metabolism, and a decreased T4, which is for heat production. A decrease in T3 level will show signs of decreased vital signs, weight gain, constipation, and liturgy, while a decrease in T4 will cause cold intolerance to patients. Mixed edema coma is a sudden decrease of T3 and T4 level that results to decreased vital signs, decreased level of consciousness, which can lead to coma. Question number 4. Your one full minute starts now. Ten seconds. Time's up. The correct answer is letter C. Rationale. Since the chest tube is being dislodged and the patient is experiencing respiratory difficulty, the priority is to cover the site with petroleum gauze then report it to the physician. Note. If the tube is accidentally removed from the site of insertion, immediately cover it with petroleum gauze. If the bottle accidentally breaks, immediately immerse the tube on sterile water or NSS. Therefore, there should always be a petroleum gauze and an extra sterile water or NSS in the bedside in case of emergency. If there is continuous bubbling, in the water seal or suction control bottle, suspect for leakage. If no bubbling in the water seal or suction control bottle, check for obstruction or lung re-expansion. Question number 5. Your one full minute starts now. Ten seconds. Time's up. The correct answer is letter B. Rationale. In pulmonary emphysema, there is an increased carbon dioxide and a decreased oxygen that results to respiratory acidosis. Poor sleep breathing is advised to facilitate the excretion of excessive carbon dioxide since in this procedure, exhalation is longer than inhalation. Barrel chest is also present due to loss of alveolar elasticity. The major risk factor is smoking. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned and understand something. If you want more videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.